Welcome, Anthony Hudson with you. Well, joining me is the former Melbourne skipper. He played 226 games with the Demons, Gary Lyon. Welcome, Gaz. Thanks, Hutto. I've been looking forward to this one all week. A practice match on the bill today as these two sides test each other out. Tonight, Geelong and Port Adelaide. Make their way onto the field, ready to put in another big performance. The banners look great as the players get set to run through them. It's a big day for Port Adelaide Fords. If they can get on top of the Geelong defence, they'll go a long way to winning the game. The cheer squad's hard work is paying off. The banners are looking great. The captains make their way to the middle for the toss. Port Adelaide wins the toss. The opening siren is moments away and you can feel the excitement building. <laughs> Time now for the opening bounce. Walsh slaps it away. Able to release the kick. Did well to control the ball. Dangerfield just fends off his opponent. Takes a nice mark. Sweeping handball. Lysette rushes with the kick. Marks now and can send it back. Now with a low spearing kick. Couldn't complete the mark. Marshall didn't dispose of it correctly and hands it over. Stewart plays the tackle. Brilliant chase. Gets the loose ball. A clean pickup. Heads back with the kick. Looks like the ball will be coming back. Hawkins urged on by the crowd. Prepares the kick. He loved that one. The first goal going to Geelong. That's a really good team goal. They're looking more dangerous inside 50 now. Great reward for effort. Back in the middle. Lysette thrashes it. Much couldn't stick the tackle. He can take off after that handball. Hacking it out of there. Couldn't take it. He's gone. Runs into a defender. Constant pressure and rewarded. He gives chase to the footy. Doing well was Duncan. Takes possession with the ball now. Intercepted by Fern Jones. Fends off the tackler. Handballs out into space. And now Glazer. Geelong finds a way to get that one through. That will settle his nerves. Gets his first on the ball. They get around him after that effort. It hasn't always been clean, but they've got the goal. We resume hostilities. Lysette nice gets it down. He gains possession. Dishes it off. Missed the target. Boat powers through the tackle. Elects to kick. Can't take possession. Clumsy tackle results in a free kick. Can he put it through? They chase after the loose ball. Dersma goes cleverly off the ground and kicks the goal. He puts through his first goal. Gets a reward for his efforts. He knew that was home as soon as it left the boot. Center bounce. Wins the ruck duel. Dangerfield fends off the tackle. Just gave it away. Walsh unable to hold on. Alex to go backwards. 
Looks like it's going to be paid deliberate. Jarvis coming onto the ground. The umpire pays deliberate. Paul, that's an interesting call. Moves it by foot. A chance to reload the attack now. Lazek has a chance to put a second goal on the board. Drops the mark. Hawkins unable to lay the tackle. Menegola just landed in his back. Myers brushes off the tackle. Goes for the goals. No issues with that drop mark. Look at him. He really enjoyed that one. The lead is now 12. We're back in the middle to resume play. Swatson is in his possession. Stabs at the kick. Does well to cut off the kick. Tui puts it on the boot. Ball hits the deck. It'll be a free against Jarvis. Amon handballs out in front. Getting pushed out of the way was Amon. Lobs the handball. With the ball is Hawkins. Congratulated by his teammates. That's two in a row for Geelong. Geelong by three goals. Tap down. Much grabbed it clean. Wants to keep it moving. Motlock links up with a chance to run. Puts the handball out in front. Hits the target by hand. Geelong supporters delighted by that effort. Jarvis getting the crowd involved. That's three in a row for Geelong. The Cats starting to break away. Guides it down. Motlock hurried kick. Doing well to intercept that kick. Views not wasting time. Elects to play on. Manages to keep the ball in play. Unfortunately, not for long as the ball goes out. What can you tell us, Gaz? I'm waiting for something to change the way this game's going right now. Geelong aren't making the most of their hitouts. It's going straight to the opposition. Good mark and looks to send it back. Selwood couldn't snaffle it. Dug out the loose ball. Radigalia couldn't complete the tackle. Penetrating handball. Jonas is blowing hard after that effort. He drives it towards goal. The first quarter ends, and it sees Port Adelaide with some work to do. Geelong could have to be happy with that first two. He's enjoying that goal. Hawkins on top of the ranking points. He is dominating this game. The siren sounds for the start of the second quarter. The game is back underway. Punched away. We'll get a ball up. Thump by Walsh. Quick handball. Much gets in the way. Picks up the loose ball. Links with hands. It's a turnover. Burton doesn't make the tackle. Lysette thumps it forward. Put his body on the line. Ball up in the centre square. Thumps it clear. Collected by Marshall. Clean pick up by Lysette. He spears the ball. Laser didn't mark it. Has it now. He slots this one. A big goal there. Another goal. He's kicked a couple now. They are starting to stamp their dominance on this game. A time to celebrate. And don't they get around Laser? A race for the loose ball. The ball mopped up. Wins the race to the ball. Radigalia puts on the tackle and is rewarded. Dragged down by Radigalia. Coaches love to see that kind of tackling pressure. Jonas earns a free kick. He wins possession. That's holding the ball. Vern Jones complying the pressure. Showing some really good pressure there. Handballs. Dalhouse gets streaming past and gets the footy. Dangerfield has a teammate on the move. He takes aim. 
Just sneaks in from behind. Geelong with the edge right now over Port Adelaide. Got hands to it. Has to do better than that in the mark contest. He drives it. He couldn't hang on. Hartler kicks hurriedly. Taking a nice grab. Dixon shoots. And that kick goes offline. Would have loved to nail that chance. Pretty lucky to get that free. Got the hands free. Collects the loose ball. Fuse wins himself a free for that tackle. Fuse hunting with authority. Outstanding pressure. Picked up now. Dersmach struggling to run at the moment. Cleary with the mark. Handball's out in front. Burn Jones gets on the end of that handball. He has the ball. Releases by hand. Has a runner alongside him. Dahlhaus goes it alone. Geelong by 37. Geelong could cost themselves with turnover today. They need to find a way to control the play better and stop turning it over. He decides to go for home. He's excited about that one. He's absolutely loving it. Why not? Dahlhaus celebrating hard. The margin is 43. Great. Back in the middle now. Won the hit out. There'll be a ball up in the centre square. There's not too much going on out there at the moment. Hands that ball to the opposition. Receives the handball and takes off. Umpire penalises him and it'll be a free kick. Great tackling there, Hutto. Hawkins can balls out into space. The ball finds itself to the boundary. Ball tossed back in. Walsh got the tap. Using every ounce of energy he has left. Intercepts the ball well. Goes for the goals. Geelong sent one home. Radagalia getting his first with that kick. Pretty happy with that one. Now they lead by 49. Walsh won it down. Motlock couldn't dispose of it properly. Didn't get away from the tackle. Great tackling technique. He's worked hard and probably needs a chance to rest. Laser continues to run. Never really looked like going through. Geelong, Covert Port Adelaide, by 50. It's a foot race to get this one. Mops up the loose ball. Radigalia heads towards the goals. His teammates rush over. Geelong flee Port Adelaide by 56. He did really well there and gets the reward. Lysette clears the contest. Releases the handball. Just gave it away. Jonas just fends off his opponent. Uses it now. The ball ends up going to ground. Dixon gives away a free for in the back. Just sends it into space. Kicks the ball deep. But it's dismissed. Port Adelaide looking for some scoreboard respectability. The Cats have turned the ball over a lot trying to play aggressively. It's where they turn it over which doesn't make it as dangerous. Dixon with clean hands for a difficult bouncing ball. Cut straight through the middle. Smiles all around. A good second term. See the scores. The Cats, 63. And Port Adelaide, 14. Geelong will go into the rooms at halftime with plenty of confidence and back themselves for the second half. Radigalia having an impact right now. He is doing everything right. Well, that's the opening half complete. Don't go anywhere as the third term is coming up right after this.
Ready to begin proceedings in the second half. Umpire ready to resume play. Well, found it down. Much gets a quick kick away. The ball ends up going to ground. Tui sends one up towards the wing. And the ball trickles over the boundary. Another goal here, and this game could be well and truly over. Won it down. He's got the football now. Giving it off with much. Awkwardly got the handball out. The loose ball picked up. Goes by hand. Laser links up with a chance to run. Rides out the tackle. Geelong supporters delighted by that effort. Celebrating hard. 55 points the difference. That goal will be a real confidence boost. You can see he's up and about now. Guides it down. He gets his hands on the footy. Jarvis making his way onto the field. Howard got in the better position. Movement by hand. Selwood with a brilliant rundown tackle. Selwood gets right in his face. Big tackle. Couldn't quite with the mark. Dalhouse failing to get near it, Gaz. Well, he hasn't had the impact we were expecting. Burn Jones failed to get rid of it and is penalised. Fantastic tackle. Menegola plays on. Chalk a goal up for the Cats. Radical lead club. That came off the back of some good work further up the ground. Tap came from Walsh. Duncan gets the ball. Fights the good fight. Finding the loose ball was Dewey. A thumping kick. Cleary looks to get onto the football. Menegola going for number one. Look at him. He really enjoyed that one. Geelong starting to exert some dominance now. They lead 81 to 14. Is accepted. They can create from this. The loose ball scooped up. Rockley is streaming past and gets the footy. Concedes some ground with a kick. Great grab. Wants to go. Puts it on the boot. Two, he had it, lost it. With quick hands. Ends up with Dalhouse. Dixon got him high there. Blitzarves puts it into space. Controlled well off the bounce. Just handballs into space. Bit of a harsh call, but the umpire saw it as deliberate. A chance here to convert for Port Adelaide. Rosie keeping it low. Gathers it now. Just sends it into space. Walsh, interesting handball. Handballs under pressure. The ball in the hands of Marshall. He gains possession. Pretty happy with that one. Port Adelaide trying to get back to a manageable score. Thrashes it. Finds the loose ball. Thank you. There'll be a ball up in the centre square. The sting has been taken out of the game right now. Using every ounce of energy he has left. Gets the handball away. Found time to get it on the boot. Made the tricky bounce look easy. He lays off the pass. Henry gives it off. And now they go. Ball gets cut off. Fuse picks up the loose ball. Motlock dug out the loose ball. Gets the loose ball. Howard brushed off easily. Fuse couldn't dispose of it properly. Great tackling technique. Gets it away. Just dismisses his opponent. Handballs to a teammate on the run. With a driving kick. Hawkins hangs onto that one. Converting these opportunities could make a big difference to today's result. Gets him a reward for his efforts. 67 points the difference. Back with another centre bounce. Geelong could taking advantage of their Ruckman's ability. It gives them first use at the stoppages and forcing the opposition to defend. Gives it to Howard. Rockcliffe receives the ball. Rockcliffe going to be penalised here. Saw what was coming. Fantastic pressure there. He can take off after that handball. This is Clark. Dishes it off to a player on the run. Opportunity for Walsh. Manufactures the handball. He decides to go for home. Congratulated by his teammates. Geelong have kicked the last two goals. Now they lead by 73. He lays off the pass. Has a man running for him. Jarvis comes away with the ball. They can link up now. Can he put it through? A good result there. And that's a goal for Geelong.
He acknowledges the crowd. Geelong could have kicked the last three goals. The lead is now 79. The game is Geelong. Take the upper hand in the final term. They lead by 79. The Cats will want to keep the foot on the accelerator and finish this last quarter strongly. The forwards starting to take control of this game. Plenty of goals in that quarter. Let's check out the stats. Port Adelaide haven't been able to set up many set shots at goal, but I'm not sure that it's the forward's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect your forward to kick a winning total that way. Thanks for that, Gary. Let's see what this last quarter throws up. Oh, they're going to take some risks now. They can't afford to waste any time. Walsh won the hit out. Rockcliffe can't hold on to the tackle. The ball is picked up and kept alive. Cleary onto the ball. Takes possession. Jonas keeps coming. Finding the ball with ease. Kicks hurriedly. He looks like he needs a spell. Missed the target. Dishes it off. Turned it over. Tough ball to handle. Hands it out to open space. Laser can put through a fourth with this kick. He celebrates hard after that. Geelong really starting to dominate. We resume hostilities. Radigalia just slaps it down. Hurried kick. Finds this and marks well. Hawkins sets his sights on the goals. He heads for home. Kick on the way. They get around him after that effort. That's five in a row for the Cats. 91 points the difference. Hits the target by hand. Burton didn't dispose of it correctly and hands it over. Unable to create the space. Constant pressure and rewarded. Cleary with the ball. Dug out the loose ball. Burn Jones throws the ball away. Menegola with a chance for a third goal today. He's excited about that one. Geelong doing well at the moment. We're back in motion. Radigalia does well. Clears the ball from the contest. Took his eyes off the ball. Burn Jones sends it into space. This for goal number five. The margin is 98. Bit unlucky as the umpire pays deliberate. Geelong would love to make the most of this opportunity. He wins possession. Dahlhaus looking to put through another goal. The lead is now 99. Off hands. That tackle just too high. It's a turnover. Much read at best. Licks with hands. Burn Jones links up with a chance to run. Pushes off the tackler. He flicks it over. Laser having a big game. He's everywhere at the moment. Geelong are happy about that one. This league getting bigger now. Look at them celebrate that effort. Geelong could kick seven unanswered goals. They continue to push this lead out. Just gets a hand in. Burton steals possession. Sweeping handball. Now we've got a ball up. Right now, I'm only seeing one team really putting their all into this contest. Selwood earns the free for that tackle. Fails to fend off the tackler. Great tackle. Scoops up the ball. Finding the loose ball was Laser. He takes aim. He pops through the goal. This kick has extended their lead. His teammates rush over. Geelong is starting to take control. Centre bounce. 
Taps it down. Duncan on the ball. He's worked hard and probably needs a chance to rest. Dixon gets on the end of this. Going for goal number two. Always looked like a behind. Unable to take that chance. They'll have to really roll the dice here to have any chance. Dixon with a chance to light things up. He's enjoying that goal. Port Adelaide produced the margin. Winning it was Walsh. Needs a bit of a rest. Quick handball. Duncan there to mop up. He's really making an impact in this game, Gas. He's starting to really dominate this game and hitting the scoreboard effectively. Laser celebrates with the fans. Margin getting dangerous now. About to resume play. Howard on the tap. Duncan pushes through with power. Laser winning plenty of the ball. He looks likely today, Hutto. He's kicked a few goals and doing some damage. They'll be pleased with that effort. A nice long goal. Smiles all round. Geelong building this lead nicely. Back in the middle. Has the rucks go at it. One down. Well, for the clean collect. Tries to release the pressure. Ball up in the centre square. It's been a clearance game, and right now, Geelong are on top in that area. Spent that one before he earned it. Power Pepper just took way too long. Radigalia got him. Great tackling there, Hutto. And we'll get a ball up. It's just smashing out there at the moment, and it could get worse. Not a great performance today, and in the end, a disappointing result for Port Adelaide. How did you see that one, Gaz? Geelong just know how to play together. It's been a solid team performance, and they can reap the rewards. Thanks for that. We play the game as it should be played. The power 143 to 27. Thanks to Gary Lyon for joining us. We'll see you all later. It was great to be here, Hutto. I'll be back next time. Yo